Hey guys, welcome back to Kernel Dish. Today I'm going to show you how I make the most flavorful, low carb, spicy lamb meatball appetizers perfect for your next gathering. Don't let their cuteness fool you. These babies pack a flavorful punch. You're going to love them. So the first thing we're going to do is add some fat to the lamb. So I'm grating in some cold butter and I'm going to drizzle in a little olive oil. And these are all of the spices that I'm going to use for these meatballs. Before we add the other ingredients, we want to make sure all this flavor is evenly distributed into the lamb. So we're just gonna mix everything together very gently. And I forgot the crushed red pepper flakes and the Worcestershire sauce, so Worcestershire, that sauce. And mix that all together. And you wanna just let this hang out in your fridge for an hour so those flavors get a chance to know each other very well. After an hour, you're gonna form the meatballs and place them on a foil lined baking sheet. They should be able to fit on a slice of cucumber, so don't make them too big. Easiest way to make the sauce is in a food processor. The base is Greek yogurt and mayo, and here's what we're gonna flavor it with. So now you're going to process everything together until it's well blended. Give it a taste and adjust the seasoning as you see fit. Keep this cold until you're ready to use it. I'm crumbling some feta that was packed in a brine into a small bowl and seasoning it with black pepper and a small drizzle of olive oil just because I like the way it tastes and to season it up a bit. So now it's time to broil our meatballs. You're gonna dot every single one of them with a little olive oil and pop them under the broiler for about four to six minutes. After four to six minutes, brush each meatball with plain balsamic vinegar. The vinegar is gonna give the meatballs an extra layer of seasoning and promote more browning. Put them back under the broiler for an additional two to three minutes. You'll know the meatballs are cooked when they're firm to the touch and not mushy. I'm seasoning the cucumbers with a light sprinkle of salt and pepper. Doing this does draw out water, but it helps them taste good. You can do this ahead of time. So I'm brushing the meatballs with one final layer of balsamic vinegar, just plain balsamic vinegar. And then basically you're just gonna build up these meatball appetizers with some red onion, the feta that we seasoned before, some fresh herb, and just marvel at how cute they are and gush at how delicious they are. And I hope you enjoy them. Instead of a cucumber? Mm hmm. A cucumber, hold it. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Two thumbs up. Four thumbs up. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, man. You like that? Oh my gosh. Isn't it good? It's, it's spicy and like. This is like my favorite. Well, everything my favorite, but this is literally like one of my favorites. <laughs> Don't you move! <laughs> I'm glad you like it, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. Love it. Honestly guys, these meatballs are damn good set up as an appetizer like this, but this recipe is also versatile and makes great burgers, or you could totally simmer these meatballs in a tomato sauce. The sky's the limit. Get creative with it. Grab the recipe in the description box below, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! She make you wanna lick the plate, I know